Hi, this is Miguel Gulen, and uh, we are continuing our exploration of Microsoft Classroom. There's uh, two videos uh, that precede this one, and uh, we've been sort of chatting about uh, setting up uh, the class notebook for a particular class, um, in this case, Period 1 English, and uh, we're going to just continue our exploration. Uh, as you can see, that Microsoft Classroom interacts with uh, the calendar, um, there's a conversation space where and files where we can share content with each other. There's a place where you can click on notebook and um, this is a, a space that you can see is is our really our OneNote class notebook. Um, so as we look at at uh, the OneNote class notebook that, that has been set up for um, for students you can see that the welcome area has a sort of a, a, a walkthrough uh, of what you can actually do in OneNote Class Notebook. So if we wanted to, we could just click on that video link, and you can see it's very easy to drop video in. I'm just going to just quickly start that video. We're not going to watch the whole thing. Notebooks are great for things like class notes, recipes, to-do lists, and sketches. But what if you could have all the notes you've ever taken in one place? Microsoft OneNote is a digital note-taking app designed to keep you organized. You can capture a recipe on your PC, and view it later on your phone. All of your notes are stored in the cloud, which means no saving and no hassles. You can share your notes with family and friends, even if they don't have OneNote. Let's take a look at how to get started. So, as you can see, students can get a, an introductory view of what OneNote looks like and, and can, can be for them. Um, there's also, uh, it sort of talks about the, the main areas of content library, student notebooks, collaboration space. And then hands-on, uh, learn why OneNote is great in the classroom. Uh, you can set, check out these 30-second uh, videos. Um, there, as you can see, there's uh, you can write notes on slides. And this makes it uh, just a great tool to share with students. Imagine you're in astronomy class, and your professor has shared his lecture slides. Well, with the handy Send to OneNote tool, the scissors in your taskbar, you can send the slides to OneNote and take notes on top of them. Just choose a location and click OK. You can click the arrow in the right-hand corner to switch to full page view and then page through the slides at your convenience. You can even take handwritten notes directly on top of the slides. So a really powerful uh, feature that OneNote has for students is that ability to, to take advantage of digital ink and write on the screen uh, and then have that have those annotations actually saved with that printout that's been inserted. Uh, there are other uh, videos there that you can watch. There's also one of the other ones that I like is Clip from the Web and it is very easy to clip content from the web and drop it straight into a OneNote. This is great whether you're a teacher or a student and you're, you're trying to grab content and make it available. Notice that there uh, is other content here. There's uh, staff notebooks, office mix in education, sway in education. All of these are just, just different pieces of information that you can have and share with your students. It, if you don't want any of those, of course you can remove them. Um, it's not very difficult to, to get rid of those. Uh, there's also a um, the collaboration space, and notice that you can um, move you can move the um, um, bar around to adjust the width. And in the collaboration space, it's open to everyone in the class, and uh, everybody can um, access and and do things in this space. So you can add additional pages so that if there's a group project each group could have a, a, a piece where they could work um, in a place. You can create um, tables and resources here. There is also the content library 
and the content library is a place to put uh, stuff that you want to share with your students and uh, st students can actually copy things from that library and save it into their individual place and when we do the walkthrough for the video of um, what this looks like all from the students perspective you'll you'll see how we can do that so this is what OneNote looks like online and what sometimes throws people off is that you have this rich um, ecosystem of tools and it's all online uh, and uh, but you know Microsoft uh, is more than just the online aspect it's more than just the cloud it's also all the great tools that are available on your computer and as a teacher um, I have to introduce you to OneNote 2016 that runs as an application on your Windows computer. It is really a powerful app. OneNote is also available um, for your your Mac and you're able to access these these uh, notebooks that you create for your students and I'm gonna bet that once you get comfortable working uh, in the OneNote 2016 then you'll be able to um, uh, disseminate and share information uh, with students very quickly and easily and so we're gonna just jump into that one way to get your notebook into your uh, notebook uh, OneNote which I'm pointing to at the bottom it's probably showing up uh, you can see that I'm running OneNote here and uh, if I were to open that up um, it, I'd have to figure out which of the accounts I want to use to connect with and so if I come here and I I've already set this up you know I've added a place and I have usmie.com and I click on that I should be able to access um, the, the all the different things that I've created and you can see here's uh, um, some of the resources that I've created but I don't see the class notebooks that I've created for my students yet so I'm gonna sort of put that to the side I'm gonna leave that open for right now and just come over here to where is it um, my OneNote online and there's a button at the top of your uh, class notebook that says edit in OneNote now when we say edit in OneNote I just want to um, point out that we have OneNote online we also have if we look at, at my uh, tiles here we have OneNote 2016 and that's what you want to be using is OneNote 2016 OneNote is a free uh, app that comes loaded standard on Windows uh, 10 but if you have OneNote 2016 you really want to be using that as the app that that's going to be opening up these notebooks so I'm going to go ahead and click on edit in OneNote and watch what happens it's going to pop up a window it says Microsoft Edge is trying to open OneNote 2016 do you, do you mean to do that and you're going to say yes you bet I want to open it up and so then Microsoft Office will flash a potential security concern window and uh, of course they want to protect you um, but the answer is yes we do want to continue we want to open this up so that we can see what this looks like I'm going to say yes and uh, um, it's actually opening that uh, notebook on my computer uh, that was online it's now opening it uh, with OneNote 2016 then we can we can continue to uh, sort of wait but what's happening right now is that uh, OneNote 2016 is processing it's getting that content from the web and uh, saving it so I'm going to click on continue editing in, in OneNote online uh, for right now and you can see that uh, even though I'm in the processes of or the process of opening this with OneNote 2016 I still have edit rights so I can come in and pretty much uh, highlight content I can click on uh, these horizontal bars over on the left hand side and if I wanted to I I could also right click and delete pages and uh, I'm deleting uh, the content that's here because I really don't need it uh, I might want to use it for might want to use this and keep this for students um, but I don't see that some of this is relevant 
So I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and and uh, like the staff notebook, I'm going to I'm just going to delete that. Now Office Mix is is really fantastic um, as a sway, um, but those are things I'm I want to introduce later to my students. So I'm just going to delete those out of my class notebook, and uh, now um, you'll see that I I want to add a page, and I can actually just move that page just very easily and say um, class syllabus, or you can do a welcome. Um, Welcome to my, welcome to uh, Mr. Goot. Obviously, I like to write, so it's going to be a few th uh, a thousand different drafts of of this welcome before I get to where I'm going. So, welcome to our English one class notebook. We'll be collaborating and writing um, lots of stuff. And if you had a, a video that you wanted to include, and just for fun, let's let's see if there is a YouTube video. English one, welcome. Okay, so I'm doing a quick uh, search, and I've got a I, English basic communication, English welcome session. Uh, I ha I have not looked at any of these. Uh, <laughs> let's hope that they're safe for work. Okay. Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel and I hope you enjoy watching my channel. So again there's there's probably lots of different resources that are available to us. We we um you. Okay. Um we we can find a video, but it's very easy to just drop that video. Um just going to do this quick uh... okay so uh, I want to share this video I'm going to just quickly copy that link and come back over to my period one classroom and hit paste oops go ahead and use control V combination and uh, and then switch to something else so hopefully that video will will get inserted if it doesn't uh, once we open it up in OneNote 2016 um, we'll see what happens okay let me try that um, again and so I'm going to come over here because um, my first attempt to load this didn't work. So I'm just going to come over to File and uh, notice that I have Info, Print, Share, About, Help. I'm going to click on Edit in Microsoft OneNote on that icon. It's going to ask me if I want to try to open it. And it uh, looks like we are experiencing some measure of success here. Uh, there is the Period 1 English Notebook. Um, it has the collaboration space, the content library, and then the student. So pretty powerful. Um, we, we've actually managed to sort of open, excuse me, open up and uh, see our content. Now here's this video again. I'm just going to remove it and then paste it again. Now notice that it uh, it didn't do what I expected it to do, um, which was to basically just work <laughs> and drop that video piece in there. So I'm going to come back up here to my insert uh, toolbar and click on insert video. And I think I may have mixed, got that mixed up with uh, dropping a sway in, which immediately imports. I'm going to click on OK. And now the video is inserted. And you can actually see that there is a video here. Um, on welcoming on welcome and learning English so uh, this video is available um, as part of my welcome it was pretty easy to insert it unlike uh, if I come back to my um, screen here and if I come to insert notice that I can insert picture online pictures 
uh, and other things, but not necessarily looks like a video. So that's what's so neat. And you'll you can see that I inserted that video on the desktop version of OneNote 2016, and it's actually populated, and it looks just the way it does in there. See, here's the the version of where I'm running OneNote 2016. Here's the online version, and it looks just the same. So the sync it synced up quite quite well and and pretty quickly. So I'm going to stop my editing um, in uh, OneNote Online and just flip over to the OneNote 2016. So here we are, OneNote 2016. As you can see, um, we have access to all of the different tools that are available as part of uh, an app that's installed on your Windows computer. The, uh, the home gives me access to bold, italics, underline, all those features. You also have access to to-do tags, so um, if you wanted to, uh, you could come up with a to-do list for your students and enter those tags. Um, now, uh, you can uh, you can quickly format your resources and make them available. Uh, there's just so much possible here. If you you can also go to insert, you can insert a file printout. So if you had a PDF document, uh, let me just go quickly out to the web and grab one. Um, Let's see, uh, graphic organizer PDF. Now there's a cause and effect. I'm going to guess that there are tons of different graphic organizers available. Uh, this one's from Ed Helper. I'm going to save that picture and just save it on my desktop. And if I want to, um, just let me see. I'm going to come over here to my uh, uh, content library, new page, type in character analysis, and insert a picture. I know I went out looking for a PDF, um, but now I have um, a picture that that's there and available. There are also um, uh, the next tab over, I mean, I can insert lots of other things, uh, file printouts of, of documents, um, which is really uh, phenomenal. The file printout actually is something that uh, students would be able to draw on. And actually, we're, we're going to draw on this, this document in just a second. I, with the draw tool, I can come over and select and uh, uh, put information in. I can also type and uh, and 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 put that information on there. Let's see. There are, um, you can also highlight content uh, using different colors. So you could ask kids to maybe you know however you wanted to approach this um, and if I were uh, if I had my stylus handy let me go grab it now with my stylus I'm uh, able to just uh, come in and right I'm doing this on my laptop screen so um, but if you were on a Microsoft surface it would be very easy uh, to to come in and um, actually just write on the on the screen if you made a mistake you can always come in and erase content And there we 
go. Um, and as you can see, it's it is pretty straightforward and easy for kids to actually write. Um, they're able to uh, also, you know, take notes off to the side. You know, what are some questions, um, etc. So, all of that is is just um, something that can be added in and and worked in. Now, as a, as a teacher. Um, if I was working on somebody's uh, content, I could just come in and also just grade them. Um, if that was something that we wanted to do, uh, or you wanted to do, uh, it's up to you to decide how you uh, conduct the assessments in your in your class. If I decided I didn't want any of that, again, I could just uh, get the large eraser and and quickly wipe it out. But it is pretty easy to add content and then modify it. And so I'm just going to sort of clean out. Notice that as I erase, I'm not losing any of my original drawing. Um, it's all still available. Now, once I have this content here, how do I get it someplace else? How do I get it to my students? Um, and I'm sort of uh, explored this a little bit but um, there are there's more resources available here the uh, you know I didn't mention recording audio or recording video but uh, you'll see that aside from the all the features that are available in these ribbons across the top that you can access uh, in, as well as the learning tools that allow you to take advantage of immersive reader which can read content back to students um, there also are um, what are called, uh, I guess, uh, section groups. And these section groups allow you to create additional sections and organize them. So, for example, in the collaboration space, if you wanted, that's where we're at now, let's say you didn't want this use the collaboration space, you wanted something else. So, uh, maybe week one. Um, you can go in and add additional projects and I'm just going to delete that that section it's gone I'm still in the collaboration space but now I'm able to um, organize this the way I want it and need it for my class I can also come over here to the content library and, and do the same thing I don't have I'm not stuck with that particular uh, name So in the content library, I've created week one introductions, um, week two, project one, week three, project two. And uh, now that I have this, these resources in the content library, let's say that I wanted to share them with students. Now let's go we'll take a quick look at what students have over here in their area. So if I come over to my first student, they have class notes, handouts, and assignments. And that's essentially what I created earlier when I was working uh, online and I created my class notebook. And there really isn't anything here. Uh, there's, it's just a blank space. So I could come over to my uh, week one introductions and say, you know what? I want to send this out to all those students. I want to send the entire section with all the resources that I've created um, for for them and uh, maybe I want to call this uh, introduce yourself okay and so what I can do is uh, come up to class notebook tab up here at the top and this is an add-on that you install on your desktop application or your desktop version of uh, OneNote 2016 and you can just click on distribute new section or distribute a new section group. And this is if you want to drop the whole uh, content library on everybody, but we just want to drop this section, week one introductions. So I'm going to click on uh, distribute the new section, and it 
it says this new blank session will be created and pushed out to each student in your class notebook. Let me go ahead and click cancel and um, okay I can also take advantage of distribute the content library sections to your other class notebooks and I think that's probably what I'm looking for um, I didn't want to create a new one I wanted to distribute um, an existing one so I click on this the the distribute content library and it's going to take me to the week one introductions I can check off everything that I want to share and what I like about this is that you don't have to share everything at once you can share it um, week to week so that students don't necessarily get ahead of themselves or you can share it all in advance and then uh, students can work their way through the projects it's up to you um, to decide how it's going to work best for your you and your students in your situation so let me go ahead and click on copy um, I have selected a class notebook let me up. Hmm. I'm missing something. Give me a second to explore this. I notice this video is running a little long, so I'm, uh, what I'm going to do is um, uh, come over here to my Introduce Yourself, and uh, I'm going to distribute that page. And notice that when I choose to distribute that page, it has assignments, class notes, and handouts and uh, I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, handouts and if I go back up to the top level I can go to an individual student and if I look in handouts I will now see the introduce yourself option and as a student um, TCA student 31 I'm able to go in and, and adjust this so for fun what I'm going to do is uh, actually do that. I'm going to open this up as a student and then go through that. But since this video is running a little long, I'm going to go ahead and close this one and move to the next one. Um, so thanks for watching and remember you can find all of the resources um, that I'm referencing here at www.tca.org forward slash blog um, and uh, you'll find write-ups uh, in the Microsoft tips and and tricks or techniques section and then if you want to access additional resources relevant to TCA MIE where I include a list of all the videos that are here you can uh, go to uh, ly.tca.org forward slash TCA MIE 1. Thanks for watching this has been your host Miguel Gulen. You can reach me on Twitter at MGUHLIN.